Hi, my name is Sarah and I want to take just a few minutes and welcome you to the EDD program at Southeastern University and hopefully take just a couple of minutes to make your life a little bit easier. You see in front of you the uh, dashboard for Southeastern University and this is where you're going to start just about every day of your doctoral journey. Um, I think sometimes it's a little bit easier if somebody would just show you what to do um, rather than having to read it and so hopefully the screencast will be beneficial to you. One of the reasons that you want to start at the seu.seu.edu dashboard is because you can check your um, mail here every day and you never know when your professors are going to send um, a request to you or an announcement to you or maybe we might say hey attention everybody in cohort D we need you to do such and such and so we will be communicating with you through your southeastern email so it's very important that you check that every day secondly you will use my fire all the time um, to access your courses and so that's what we're going to do today we're going to go to my fire and once you click on my fire your computer is usually going to pop up over here and ask you to log in again um, down here but I've already logged in to make the video a little bit quicker so you can see that up here in the corner it remembers um, me and so it's saying hi Sarah you can come on in when I have uh, this board I can either pull my courses from here or you'll notice that it's down here under the navigation bar my courses and you can play around with the setup of my fire and set it up where it's easiest for you. Um, I'll just come back up here to the top. My courses, as you take more and more courses at Southeastern, you will see this list grow. And so mine's got to be quite lengthy and sometimes I go down and hide them because it's just too much to see all at once. But today I want to show you two things that you're going to visit quite frequently. One of those is the Graduate Education Forum. And that's not a class where you enter and have um, assignments to do, but it is something that all of you are enrolled in so that you have access to this forum. And also you'll see the Institutional Review Board, which I have enrolled all of you in as well. And so for your orientation class, you need to become familiar with what is in these two um, courses, if you will. So let's start with the Graduate Education Forum. And anyone who is a graduate student at Southeastern has access to that, um, if we've enrolled them. Let's give them a minute for it to pull up. And you'll see here we have a special folder for the EDD program. And then there are also things down here for the master's courses. Um, of course, our APA handbook. Um, in this section has some College of Education helps for writing an APA and what do you do if you need APA help and there's also a template there for any APA papers that you have to do and you will have to do APA papers. Um, but you're going to spend most of your time in the EDD program folder. I just wanted to remind you that there is that special APA folder down there. If you open the EDD program, you will just see several things. And sometimes it gets to be a, a bit overwhelming because we store a lot of things in here to help our students and also our professors. Um, the grayed out things are things that I'm currently working on. You will not see those pop up on yours, so maybe it won't be quite so overwhelming. But um, up at the top of the EDD program, um, you'll see just course-wide discussion, a water cooler, um, Usually, I know my cohort doesn't go and visit in there a whole lot, but there is that opportunity. Um, there's a spot for the advisory board, a kudos board if you want to say, hey, so-and-so, you just did a great job. I really appreciate the uh, lecture you shared with us on such and such. Um, probably the folder where you're going to need to visit the most is the resource folder. Um, and so when we click on the resource folder, give it a second to open. Um, you'll see that we have our uh, folder in here for all different kinds of forms that you'll need, but also the conceptual framework of what it is that we're learning as we go through the EDD program. You'll find our course rotation for all of our courses, so you'll know what you're taking in the spring, in the fall, in the summer, in the winter for the next couple of years. You have access to the doctoral handbook, um, a facts page, um, a page reminding you how to submit things to the ePortfolio, which you'll be learning about in your orientation class. Sometimes students forget how to register for classes because we only do it four times a year and 
we've learned so much during the semester our brain has just been thinking on other things and we're like yeah how did I register for classes so these little helps have been placed in this folder to help you with that and inside the forms folder is just um, any number of forms that you might need access to there we go um, in September you'll be submitting a, a review of your progress this year um, if you have a medical emergency of some sort and you need a leave of absence, that form is in here. Um, the rubric that uh, Dr. LeBlanc and Dr. Anderson and Dr. Henderson will be using um, at the end of your program to review your portfolio is in here. And also, if you need to request a reference, it is a requirement through FERPA that you fill out a request form. Um, temporary housing applies to um, our summer cohort so just a few forms hidden in that that box to help you so you will hear the grad ed form mentioned several times and I just wanted you to know that it's listed under my courses on uh, my fire all right I've taken you back to the home page and I'm going to come up again to my courses but this time we're going to visit the IRB folder or the Institutional Review Board and you know in your orientation class according to your syllabus one of your assignments is to complete the IRB training so let's click on Institutional Review Board let's give the computer a moment to find where we're going and when the folder opens on my fire for the course as it's designated Institutional Review Board Forum um, you'll find that you have access to come down and see all of the members there's some links and here are the training podcast and you can see it's divided into part one two and three but I want to direct your attention to the section called training certificates the university needed a way to store all of the training certificates and as a student you're going to recognize this symbol whenever there's a hand turning in a paper that means you're supposed to turn something in and so this is our way to designate hey there's an assignment here and so when you have completed your IRB training you will um, receive a certificate and it's not a fancy dancy certificate in fact when I finished the training I saw the certificate and I was thinking really is this it is this what I needed did I do the right thing you're gonna save that certificate on your computer on your hard drive on your thumb drive and you're going to keep that certificate and your professor for your orientation class may also ask you to print it out and bring in a, a hard copy um, just to make it easier to um, enter in the gradebook and give you credit for completing the training but we need a copy on my fire so that all of the professors in the doctoral program know that you have completed the training and when you get to the dissertation stage and you're ready to um, interact with people in the community uh, the university knows that you have completed um, your training and you know how to do things appropriately and so we're going to take your certificate that you received and we're going to store it here in training certificate under this assignment link in the IRB folder now I can't upload it and do it for you because as a student you need to come to the assignment yourself and post your own assignment and so all you have to do is click on the training certificate assignment link and upload your certificate so let's backtrack you're gonna first of all come through and complete all of your training for the IRB course and then when you're done they're gonna send you a certificate when I say they I mean the IRB people will send you a, a certificate you're gonna download that certificate and save it as a, a PDF or you know some type of a file to your hard drive but then we're asking that you come to the IRB folder come down to training certificates and click on this assignment link to upload your certificate and that will be a way to to store it in cyberspace now when I click on mine my certificate has already been uploaded and Dr. LeBlanc has already acknowledged that it's in there you're gonna see a block that says upload and it's gonna give you a chance to upload your certificate here 
once you've uploaded then it will wait for one of the professors to come in and grade it um, and recognize the fact that it's in the IRB folder. So yours is a screen that's on this page is going to look a little different and it's just going to ask you to upload your file. So I hope that just gives you a little bit of a introduction to uh, the MyFire page and particularly the Institutional Review Board and the Grad Ed Forum. Thanks!